Hey, I'm back with one more video using the pieces from the Party Time collection. This time some pieces from the card kit bonus pieces that we didn't use last time. And also some pieces from the stickers and paper in the Party Time collection. If you need any supplies for a project like this, you can contact me or order from my website. And I would love to meet with you in person or have you join one of our crops. So let me show you my last six cards I'm gonna make with this set. I'm gonna primarily use my regular tape runner today, but we might do some foam squares on a few things, so I have a few of those out as well. And for the card bases, I'm just using the Creative Memories blank cards. And I've already cut my pieces to the sizes we're gonna use so that this can go a little faster than the last video where I did a lot of like thinking and, and explaining and cutting on video. So I've got four sets ready to go, or sorry, six sets ready to go. Some of them use bonus pieces, but there are a couple that don't because I put together the four with the bonus pieces and then thought, hey, why don't I just do two more since I've got some more stickers and papers. The first one I'm gonna make is this Love Hugs and Sunshine that has the little sun-shaped uh, piece from the bonus set in the card kit. And I just grabbed a bunch of strips of different yellows to do some sun rays coming off of this. So these are just little things I had in whatever widths and just cut them to lengths that will work here. I'm gonna attach my background piece first. This is cut to four and a quarter by five and a half, which is the size of the card base. And it is from the blue paper pack in the Party Time collection. So get that on there. I thought that would be kind of good looking like sky. And then I'm going to do, I think, just this round piece with the foam squares. And then I'll attach the little sunbeams with tape runner straight down to the card. And I'm going to start with this one I cut for the middle. I cut these to some different lengths just based on what I thought was going to fit. I'll attach my sunbeams first and then do the sunshine half circle at the end to make sure. Um, Everything is in a good place for that. So the pieces are kind of a medium to long size here. The shortest pieces are going to be out to the sides on the bottom. And then some short and long pieces depending on where they're going to line up around the sun. And I did not match a certain paper. These are all just little scraps of cardstock strips that I had cut out already. I think some of them are quite old, like as in from some ancient creative memories um, cardstock packs that were the ones that were cut into all the pieces for you, like pre cut in advance. I'm trying to remember what those were called. Not quick cuts, that's something else. <laughs> but that's all I can, that's all I've got in my brain right now. But I know it's not that. So these are going to more or less line up in the center to make that little half circle shape. Um, and I'll just start attaching all of those. And then I'll try to match the angles on the other side. And at the end, once we get our pieces taped on here, oh, I probably didn't get taped in quite the right spot on that one. Um, then I will use my personal trimmer to cut off these edges that are gonna hang off the side of the card. Oh, I think, <laughs> now that I'm not thinking about it too hard, I think those things were called shortcuts, the packs I'm referring to. 
So some of these are very, very old cardstock colors from Creative Memories from 10, 15 or more years ago at this point. I'm not being too fussy about the placement, just trying to get them kind of somewhat evenly spaced and then I'm gonna try to match my layout on this other side. probably know the name of at least this color, which was Goldenrod. Uh, it was a pretty, a fairly recent color, but was discontinued when Creative Memories revamped their cardstock line um, around a year ago. And now there is a different color called Canary that's much lighter. It's close to this color, but th this is definitely an older one. Um, I would guess one of these yellows is probably called butter and I don't remember what the other one was. So that's going to just go in the middle there and be a cute little sunshine radiating out its sunbeams. We'll trim off the extra edges and then I'm going to double check that everything's actually adhered down because I can see I've got some adhesive that was on these parts that I'm cutting off and I don't want to have any flapping around. You could also do that trim with scissors. You don't have to do it with the personal trimmer. Looks pretty good. Let me just check that everything is adhered on the edges. Looks like, oh, there's one I missed. So far the rest have been okay. Just check those again. Okay, those are all good to go. And then this is gonna go in the middle and cover up where those all come together. Okay, and there's our Love, Hugs, and Sunshine card. Using that bonus piece from the card kit. Some paper from the blue Party Time pack. And just some random yellow strips we had left over from other things. I'm going to do this little thank you card, mostly with some stickers, but it's going to have... Um, also a piece of the blue. It's actually the opposite side of the paper we just used, but I wanted to showcase more of the darker stripes in this set. I thought those looked nice with the pieces I had. And so the main thing about this card is the biggest thank you ever, but I pulled out some yellows to add from the stickers since we had a little flower with a yellow face. And then some other little accents that I may or may not add. So let's do these pieces first, and I'm gonna do foam on all of these small pieces, including the stickers. I have in mind an occasion for a thank you card right at the moment. Maybe I will use this card for that. We have someone who's been working for us at one of our stores, not Creative Memories, but um, one of our bakeries for quite a while who will be leaving and we will miss her when she goes, but she's got other things she's moving on to. So 
but I think she does deserve the biggest thank you ever. She's been great and we'll miss her. do the big heart over here so on the stickers if they're small I feel like just to foam square or two would be fine but sometimes if you've got a big sticker and you're popping it up on foam squares you don't want the sticky from the sticker to stick down to your paper below the foam squares and make it a weird shape so I sometimes will back that with a scrap so that sticky part isn't exposed or dust some um, baby powder on it to stop it from sticking down where I don't want it to stick. These stickers are small enough that I don't think that's going to be a problem and then just the placement of that heart made it so that the sticky actually goes onto the word strip there. So there's a few little stickers enhancing that and I think I will add some of these extra little bursts around. And these all just come from one sheet of the stickers from this pack, which is a really fun, cute pack with the, the party time stuff. So it's mostly all birthday, but there is a little bit of other Kind of celebratory stuff that's not necessarily birthday all right so that was a pretty quick simple card if i wanted more i could have added like another layer of paper maybe another purple either underneath or and make this one smaller or vice versa but i think that's pretty cute and i like the little yellow with those dark colors as well all right so this one i'm not sure if i'm going to use those stickers but i liked the idea of something that looks a little bit like a birthday cake with some candles on top. So this is a set of stickers from the Party Time sticker sheet. And I'm going to start out with my paper at the bottom and then add my stickers above. This green piece comes from the Bright Party Time Paper Pack. And then I'm going to do Happy Birthday, just kind of where those things meet. And since the Happy Birthday is purple and the bottom is green, I, I don't really want the... I, I think I'm going to put those kind of in the middle. And then put the other colors to the sides. And I was looking at this thinking, oh, that is actually without the little flame part of the sticker. It is a really cute little pen and maybe some other things too, depending on what you want to use it for. But I'm going to use it for a candle. And these will go together so quick and easy. Don't even need adhesive, obviously, when you're using a sticker. You could put these on with foam squares. I decided not to. putting them straight onto the card. It does have the little paper at the bottom that I thought kind of represented the birthday cake. So I'm gonna do some foam to adhere that there. But I didn't do a background all over this card base. just saw that I missed one of my stickers from the previous card it's sitting over here in my trash pile and I'm like well, I don't want to throw that away I'd like to use it there we go so he doesn't get lost all right happy birthday across my candles and then just put those flames on and you certainly wouldn't have to use all the candles if it's a birthday card for somebody who's turning a certain age. You might use your candles 
to match up with that number instead. I just thought this was cute as a group for all those birthday candle colors together. And they are a little bit not quite straight and not quite evenly spaced, but I think it still turns out really cute. And if you want it to get more intentionally slanted, you could do that. And then it definitely hides any kind of flaws as far as spacing and angle of your pieces. So there's happy birthday. And this is now in my trash pile. Okay, so I really kind of fought with these pieces a little bit, thinking of how I wanted to use um, this that we cut from uh, a big sheet of kind of journal cards last time, and the get well, that I thought those should go together. And I, I maybe wouldn't usually put two words together, but I thought get well and thinking of you were nice. And there were some little heart stickers as well. Oh, and sorry, let me, let me swing back to this. So I said, I wasn't sure about these presents. I grabbed them originally from that sticker sheet thinking they might sit on either side of the happy birthday banner. But once I put it on, they're actually a little too tall for that. If you wanted them, you could cut a strip that was taller or even just set them next to your birthday candles. So I'm not going to use those though. I like this one the way it is. Okay, get well card. I decided to layer another piece of the striped blue with that purple heart journal card. This one from the Party Time Blue paper. The other one from the Party Time Bright papers. But I just wanted to bring out a little bit more of the blue and bluish gray color that are in this. So I thought that was a good way to do that. Just layer the piece that has those colors. And then I'm going to put get well next to thinking of you um, and kind of line it up with these banners where where we've already got the printed banners on the paper. I am going to attach these two together first and then put some foam on those. Stand those up from the card a little bit. And then I don't want it to be like too matchy, so I'm kind of pulling it down a little. But I also want to make sure that this purple heart is covering up some of those, those two middle hearts there. So that looks pretty good. And then maybe I won't use that dark one, but this one matches that color pretty well. So I think I will just do the small red heart. I might have to cut this. Yep. So my foam square is a little tiny bit too big for this tiny sticker. That's even the smallest of the foam squares. So I'm gonna just trim that in half. And then maybe I'll use that half for something else. If you're doing a really small piece with foam, sometimes even the little ones are not quite the right size. And then the thing I most often do is if I'm popping up letters from like a laser cut embellishment or um, individual ABC stickers, then I need to um, cut my foam squares so that they work with those. So I like that. We've got a little bit of that red brought in. Kind of still debating, do I want another heart? But I feel like the color of that is just a little too off. So maybe if I find another heart that's a similar color, I might add another just so it has a little more of that red on the card. But for now, if that's how we end up, I think that works. Okay, so there's that card. 
All right, I've got two more. One that's kind of like celebration, but could maybe be anything. And then another one that's more like anniversary adult celebration kind of stuff. Um, I, and I was thinking I would put some ABC stickers on these to write out a word, or there's lots of writing stickers like sentiment stickers in the pack for the party time stickers. I just didn't pick any out in particular to put with either of these cards yet. So I may still add those and if I update them, I can post an updated picture on my Facebook page. Or maybe I'll show these in person at one of my events that's coming up. We've got Craptoberfest in September this year. I am doing it a little bit earlier than normal. Normally I would have that in October, but I am expecting my baby in November. So I don't want to be planning a bunch of stuff in October <laughs> when I'm probably not going to be feeling great and um, also could be getting really close to delivering. Okay, so I was thinking we would do a little like present with this other balloon that's kind of matching and we'll stand those up with some foam. This sticker is a little bit bigger, so oh, luckily I already have this one cut in half, so I'll just use that for the top of this handle. Um, but where some of this sticky might be still exposed when I put it down, I will just use my sticker strips, like the, the scraps, to cover up some of that stuff. Because what I don't want to have happen is I set this sticker down and want it to just adhere kind of popped up with the foam squares, but then the sticky part of the middle sticks down so it's then bent. And I've done that before. It's a mistake I've made and so this is one way to kind of avoid that. There are other ways of course too, but I think if you're working with stuff like this, you probably always have some scraps. And so that's an easy way to just cover up the sticky that you don't want to stick to anything. All right, and we'll do a little present up here. We'll do this balloon animal, this yellow one. Give him some foam. some scraps on him. Oh, I got this a little crooked and it's not very easy to adjust when you've got sticky on sticky. They really want to hang out together, but I think I, I think I got it. So it's not going to be visible from the front. Let's see. We'll use some of the strips or the scraps from this candle. Um, another thing you can do with stickers, I, I don't know if you've done this before, but I certainly have, especially with ABC letters, is um, if you're trying to get a little more out of your sticker set, um, you could take something like this and cut out around the design that's printed there and then have kind of the negative of your sticker. So I think this could still be a cute candle as a negative, but you might cut all around that, cut around the flame, and then that can be another sticker for you to use. So a way to stretch your stickers a little farther. Like I said, ABCs are my biggest <laughs> use for that, but um, I often run out of some certain letters that I want to use more of, and so I then need to Um, get a little creative and cut out some more from my sheet. So I've got a few of these little um, streamers and I thought I would just do a little bit here and there, but I'm not sure if I'll use that. Maybe I'll set it off to the side and decide later once I figure out what exactly I'm 
maybe writing with some letters on here. So it'll be something birthday-y or party-y, and I'll just leave that with, with this one to decide if I need that one little extra sticker when I finish off that card. Or maybe it'll just stay exactly as it is, because it's cute that way. You can also always write something. So if you don't want to commit to specifically happy birthday, maybe you want to save it for something else. This could also be cute for like a baby card if someone was doing having a shower and you don't want to use like traditional blue and pink or whatever. Those are cute colors. Or if there's some circus themed event or somebody who just loves balloons. Okay, our last card we're gonna make is the more adult card. It's like the champagne bottle and cups. And I'm just gonna stack these two pieces of the stripes together. chose my blue to be the bottom stripes and be a little bit thicker. It's a little heavier because it's a bigger piece and it's also darker. And then I'll need to trim the edges because uh, I didn't cut these two pieces exactly, exactly the same. scraps off my trimmer from some stuff we were cutting before and line that up to get that little extra off and I like to use the trimmer but you could do this with scissors and it would turn out just as good I think Actually, a little crooked even on the bottom. Just with the way the, the paper is attached, it's not quite straight. So I'll trim that bottom as well. And I can get this other edge. I don't notice this problem with Creative Memories cards very much, but sometimes you get a card pack or a pack of card bases, and when you go to fold your card in half, <laughs> the edges don't line up. So the fold is fine, but then you might have to trim a little bit to make it straight if you care about it being straighter like that. Okay, let's put some foam on these stickers and stand them up. Oh, and I've got another real skinny spot here where I'm going to need to cut a piece in half. And it looks like with my little glasses, I'm going to have something similar. So I'll cut a few. Okay. There's my bottle, champagne or wine or whatever. Martinelli's. <laughs> Whatever your celebratory drink is, could be this. I'm gonna um, trim some of these little scraps with my scissors because I'm not doing a great job right now of hiding them. They're kind of sticking off the edge of, the, of this sticker. So besides making extra cards with my bonus pieces from my cards, I've often included those in my scrapbooks and my page layouts. And I would love to hear, is that something you do or what do you do with those bonus pieces? Do you mostly enhance the cards that are already in the kit? Do you mostly find other uses for them? I have one friend who regularly gives me her bonus pieces because she doesn't want to have to think up new cards. 
So if she makes a kit, then she's like, hey, here's all my extra pieces. And I have some extras to make some fun cards or include on my layouts or whatever. I'll do a little trimming on that as well. You don't have to cover up all of the sticky stuff on the back of your stickers when you're doing something like this. You just want to cover up the majority, at least the large parts, so that those don't adhere down to the paper below. Because that's what we're trying to avoid is to get, we don't want the sticker to fold in weird ways. What we want is for just the foam squares to be doing the connection between the sticker and the and the paper below and not to have the sticker actually stick itself. A few more of these little streamers and then this card is done. And I may at some point put, find some good words to put on this. And like I said, if I update these, I'll post a picture so you can see those. Hopefully that's helpful and gives you some good ideas and you can always contact me or order from my website if you're looking for this stuff. Thanks.